Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Saturday, October 29th, and I have been fasting for 21 hours and 54 minutes. So I thought today would be a great day to pick up the camera, and in the last video, I mentioned to you guys that I am now doing OMAD, which is basically one meal a day, and I thought it would be great just to share with you guys like what I eat in a day. Um, it is currently 2.55 in the afternoon. So I actually didn't intend on fasting as long as I have today. Um, what happened is I got up and it looked as if it was about to rain. So instead of working out, I just immediately jumped into doing some work for my business and also for my full-time job. And then after that, I went to go upload a video where there was faster Wi-Fi speed than what I have here at home. Then as I was on my way home, I decided to stop by the grocery store, which I'll share with you guys really quickly. I just got a quick little haul of about 10 items or so. I'll show you. So I actually went by Winn-Dixie and I found these marked down for 99 cents. So I didn't buy all of them because with the way food prices are right now, I thought I should definitely save, save some of the deal for other people. So I did get six of them. And with this, I think I want to make like a rice casserole type thing. Um, and then of course I'll freeze the rest. And I also picked up some pears and I picked this up because I wanna make that sushi bowl I was telling you guys about. These were like a dollar and some change. Um, this one has wasabi flavoring. And then I got coffee, some organic K-cups and I bought some organic half and half, and then some green and red salsa. These were buy one, get one free. And then I also picked up this chicken because I don't know if you guys saw, I don't know if you guys remember from the last video, but I had purchased some trout from the other store and I was planning to use that in the sushi bowls, but I ate that trout like way earlier this week. So I had to buy chicken in order to make these sushi bowls for today. So this one was $6 and 38 cents and this one was 606. And today I spent a total of $47 and 56 cents. Now I personally think that is an amazing amazing deal so yeah as i was saying i thought it would be fun to show you guys what i ate in a day um, i will show you here that i have already had coffee i had coffee at home one cup and then i actually went to panera's and while i was there i had another cup of coffee and now that i'm back at home i am going to cook my food and after that after I finish cooking, I'll go ahead and break my fast and show you guys what I'm gonna eat. Now, sometimes I do hesitate about doing what I eat in a day videos because when I used to watch these videos, I thought like, wow, is that what they eat? Like I thought that's what they ate every day. So I do wanna give a disclaimer and say, this is not how I eat every day. You guys can actually go back two videos, I think like two or three videos, and you'll see what I actually ate in a long work day. So although today is gonna to be a very clean day, because that's just kind of like how I'm feeling, that's what I want, um, I don't eat this, this clean every single day. I try to, but I don't always know it. So let me go ahead and flip the camera out and let's show you what we're doing. Yeah. One, like I'm not just cooking for myself, even though I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing for myself. Um, so I'm thinking cauliflower rice, maybe some cucumbers, um, tomatoes, carrots. I'll be back. <laughs> All right guys, so I just put a little bit of oil in this pan, but I actually used this this morning. My husband worked last night. So this morning I made him an omelet. He fasted like overnight or whatever. When he got off, he was hungry. 
Anyway, so I'm going to reuse this again to make the stir fry. So I'm letting that heat up for a little bit and then I'm gonna toss in some onion and then the cauliflower and all the veggies together. All right guys, this is why I prefer eating lunch at home. So here is the base of my sushi bowl with the peppers, cauliflower, rice. And then here are all of my options, which I will be loading my bowl with. Um, and then I have some green salsa here. And here's my water, but I did toss one of these um, cold infusers inside of it. This one is mango and passion fruit. Um, and then I will be eating this one, this, the wasabi seaweed snacks with cream cheese. I need to grab that from the refrigerator. And then I have grapes, those cotton candy grapes I told you guys about. And then here's the chicken. I just chopped it up. This is just the first batch because I'm ready to eat. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm about to have. And later today, I'll probably, maybe like in about three or four Maybe in about three hours, I'll probably have some potatoes, like some type of fry type potato of some type. But um, I'm gonna go ahead. My family doesn't really enjoy being on camera all the time, like, so I don't think I have permission today, but I will show you guys a little bit of, you know, like what I'm eating and show you how much I eat. And with this, I just allow myself to eat like as much as I want. Like I'm not trying to, measure my portion sizes i'm walking around the kitchen because i'm looking for the cream cheese but um yeah i'm not trying to like measure my portion sizes got it or anything like that i just eat until like i feel full and i think i also want some of this chili sauce as well on my come on i'm turning it off so here is my first serving along with the grapes and I am breaking my fast at 22 hours and 52 minutes. All right, guys, we're going to put some salsa on top. All right, let's take a bite. First of the wasabi seaweed. Ooh, that's hot. Let's taste the cauliflower rice. Now, I'm not the type of person who's going to lie to you <clears throat> and say the cauliflower rice tastes like rice because that's a lie. But it does taste like a nice little sushi bowl because the cauliflower actually picks up the taste of whatever seasonings or whatever else you use it with. So this is good. I think you guys are going to want to try it. All right guys, so this is what I have left. I'm done with that for now. And then I'm just enjoying my grapes. These are so yummy. These are the cotton candy ones I told you guys about. And then I have these left. I think I'm gonna finish all of these, honestly. I'm gonna finish my grapes and finish my water. It has been so I've opened my window. My window has been open, let's see, since 3.52 and it's currently 4.26. So I just really enjoy, it's been like, what, 30 minutes? Just really enjoy taking my time and enjoying my meal. I really enjoy intermittent fasting and doing OMAT now, I'm really enjoying it as well because it gives me the opportunity to 
eat the foods that I truly enjoy and like not have to worry about calories or any of that stuff. If anything, I do focus on trying to make sure I get enough nutrition. But other than that, it's a winner. And at some point within my window, I also have coffee with half and half because although I do drink my coffee black, like whenever I'm fasting, I still enjoy the half and half. That's just the truth. All right guys, so my eating window has been open for two hours and 48 minutes. It's the same day, I promise. I just, I change clothes. Like I'm one of those people, I like to be comfy at home. So um, what I am about to do, I want my potatoes. Okay, so I thought I was gonna make two, so I'm actually only gonna make one of those potatoes. All right, so while I'm waiting for those to cook, I'm also going to have like a handful of these dried cranberries. And I also want to add that with intermittent fasting, again, like I mentioned before, I kind of flex my eating windows based upon what we have going on. But today is like a big trick or treat, trick or treating night with like all kinds of yummy temptations, so. For me, I just feel better closing my eating window early so I don't even have to worry about like being tempted to eat any kind of snacks or stuff like that. Also, I really enjoy eating, um, I enjoy eating my food out of like cute dishes. <laughs> it's so crazy, but like I feel fancy and like this cost, I think it was like a dollar from the Dollar Tree when things used to be a dollar. I don't know, or maybe it was like two for a dollar or something. But I really just enjoy having my food out of really cute dishes. I feel like that just elevates the experience, you know? So you guys see, like even though I'm doing OMAD, like one meal a day, I feel like I'm still getting, getting in like a lot of food. Because remember, it's more, like yes, you are limiting your calories. Like there will be a caloric deficit. Because for, more, for most people, it's kind of, difficult to you can but it's kind of difficult to overeat in like a four hour four hour window um but also it gives my body the opportunity to rest and i'm not like shooting up my glucose levels or releasing insulin like for multiple hours throughout the day like it's just within this four hour window and then after that i won't take in any food flavorings or any of those things and my goal for tomorrow from the time I close out my window until tomorrow would just to be um, to do like a minimum of 16 hours. But on the weekends, I tend to fast a lot longer if there's not too much going on. Not like, I don't always have to like try. It's just because when I'm at home, like there's so much to do that I just start doing things and then the time flies by. And then I'll also add that it's currently almost 6.50 and I still haven't worked out, so I don't think I'm working out today. Oh well. All right, so here is the last thing that I'll be eating with my meal for today and then I will close out my window. Also still drinking the mango infused water. I just keep refilling it over and over again whenever I'm in my eating window. All right, so I'm going to have this coffee and then I will be closing out my window, which will put me a little bit shy of four hours for today. Yum. All right, so I am all done with my coffee. And can you guys see that? Probably not. My window's been open for three hours and 40 minutes and I'm about to hit start fasting and then I'll fast for another minimum 16 hours, but we'll see where we end up. So I hope you guys found this video helpful, just to kind of like see what I eat in a day. If you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to address them. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.